to see that this is a red sign. You are in a relationship with someone. And when you dress up, she tells you, why are you dressed like that? Are you not already engaged? So you want to dress up so that the girls can still be looking at you? Or he tells you, why are you still looking so nice? Are you not already engaged? I've put a, finger, a ring on your finger already. Why should you be dressing so nicely? That is a red sign. Because a man who does not want you to dress well just because you're engaged, when you get married to that man, trust me, you are going to be in trouble. When you get married to that woman who tells you why should you be dressed in, because you're already engaged to her, that's also a red sign. You get with someone whom you're trying to explain something to. And they never listen to you. That is a red sign. So you see, God is saying, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Because without knowledge in this world, you are going to make lots of mistakes. I have also said it before, lots of people always see me. And they say, oh, you carry it. Doctor, you carry it. Apostle, you carry it. I want to be an actress. I want to be in the movie industry. But these people cannot make good sentences. They can't speak English. This is not to say that you cannot be in other areas of the industry. But they are so adamant to wanting to become an actor or an actress. But first of all, you need to understand that if you are not educated, at least have a minimal education, have the ability to be able to read and write, then you cannot be an actor. So that if you understand this, you can look for other departments in the entertainment industry, especially the movie journal, and join. There are lots of people whom I know today in the industry. They have entered costuming. They realize that their luck or their favor would not be where it is in acting. And they join costuming. And today they are mega millionaires in the entertainment industry. They are in the costume department. Some of them are in the makeup department. They found that that is where they belong. So you must be able to apply knowledge, you know, that will transform to wisdom in this year. To be able to do well so you will not be stagnant so you will not be crying and say god is not favoring you god has favored all of us god has bequeathed all of us with the same wisdom and knowledge for us to be able to apply it well so that we can walk in the path of success and the elevation that he has put for us today by the grace of god just like you already know i have my phd not honorary pro you know you know a doctorate degree I have my PhD, which I took five years to study. But when you look at my history over time, all the way from nursing school to secondary school, those who know me closer know that I have been someone that loves to read. I've always loved to read. It started with my parents locking me up because being a pretty girl and being the first child, you know, most of the time, your dad and your mom, they're always so very protective and jealous of you. And being very beautiful, because you know I'm beautiful anyway, you know. My, my dad is always basically tying me to his apron strings. I don't know if you understand me. So I, I would not go out after 6 p.m. in the house. So all I had as my friends were my books. And over time, I realized also that I loved reading. And then you can see my first degree was in English language. And you cannot read English language without reading all manners of books. And then I took time to think about my life. While I was in secondary school, I did excellently well in English language, in English literature, in Bible knowledge, in economics, in government, in all the art subjects. And God bear me witness, those who went to secondary school with me also know that all the way from class three, my teachers, after they mark my papers, will give me the papers of my classmates to mark. Those who went to secondary school with me can bear witness. And those who went to secondary school with me can also bear witness that I did not do primary six. I went from primary five. I went to class one. That is how intelligent I have been. And now while I was in secondary school, I was a social prefect. And now when I wanted to do my master's, I started thinking. And I said to myself, what course do I do? And I found out that 
I am someone I love to relate with people. I love to teach people things. I love to pass on the knowledge that I have. And then I made inquiries, which is something I have also shared before, but I want to share in this brand new year for those of you who are joining for the first time. I took a time and I said, what course of study will I do well in? And after taking my time to study, to, you know, to study my life, and I realized that what I will be good you know, in is to do masters in social work. And that is how I did my masters in social work. And then, before you know it, God called me. I was anointed in the church where I worship. I was under anointing for more than eight months. And I was ordained. When you look at all these, from the course of study all the way from secondary school to university, you can see it's following in the same line. And now, having done my master's, I have so many other degrees, I've gone to do my Bible college. And now I have my PhD. And I have my PhD in Christian education and ministerial acts. When you look at all this line of study, when you look at all this progression, you can see they are all streamlined. Why? Because God has blessed me with wisdom to know that this is the path that fits me. And now look at my career. As an actress, I love to act. God has given me the ability, the talent, the acting prowess, which also has to do with the socials. So you can see they're all streamlined. So in this year, for you to do excellently well, one thing has to be salient at the top of your list. Ask yourself, am I good in this thing? Do I have the right knowledge? Are my paths going in the way that will take me to the height of my career? Am I walking in the path that I am good in? Or are you copying others? Because the moment you begin to copy others, then you find yourself that you will not be true to yourself. You will get to a point in life that you will get stuck. Why? Because it is not an original. But when you find what you are good in, you will find that you do excellently well in it. Just like in ministry that all of us are in, some of us are in rather. Some people will wake up and say, oh no, I want to be in ministry. No, you don't just wake up in ministry. Be in ministry. God will have to call you. If you know you cannot live an exemplary life, if you know that you have not been...